Recently in a couple of my videos, I've been seeing people complaining about mice getting into their system and just chewing up wires and wreaking havoc. And that's why the AC stopped working. So I thought I would make a quick video showing you what kind of preventative maintenance you can do to prevent mice from getting into your unit. So first of all, you wanna turn off the power. You can either do that at the circuit breaker panel, but if you don't wanna go all the way inside the house, you usually can turn it off outside. If you follow this conduit right here, this electrical whip, there's wires inside of it, the high voltage wires. It will take you to the disconnect box right over here. And that is something that can disconnect the 240 volts. So if I open up this box, by the way, a lot of people will have wasp nests here and this one is not an exception. This one's tiny, but I did see already some angry wasps flying around me and they love to build a nest inside of the box too. So if you're gonna go in here, just keep in mind that there might be some wasps, so tread carefully. I'm gonna try to not disturb anything, nice and slow. Open up the box and you're either gonna have a plug disconnect where you pull it out or a little breaker like I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the power and now we can open up our unit. And the compartment that we want to open up is where this electrical whip goes into. Wherever you see it going into in the air conditioner, that is probably where all your electrical stuff is. So for me, it's right over here. So I'm going to take this door off and we will see the insides. And there you have it, we have our insides. And by the way, if you're a service technician and you don't yet have one of these flip bits, highly recommended, especially for air conditioner work. It's a 5 16 and a quarter inch bit that you can flip. Very, very convenient. And basically what you're looking for are any little holes that mice can use to get in. And many air conditioners will have them. So for example, on this one, it's this hole right here. If we take a look from the bottom, and even though this doesn't look like a very big hole, you'd be surprised what kind of tight spaces mice can get into. This is more than enough for them to get in. But usually it's not even this hole. Usually it's this hole right over here that they use to get in. On this air conditioner, they actually did it smart. They have one of these gaskets that kind of covers up all the empty spaces around the wires. A lot of air conditioners won't have that. It'll just be like a gap right here. And mice use that to get in here and you know, build a nest and wreak havoc. So all you have to do to stop mice from getting in is seal those holes up. Some people use steel wool because mice obviously don't like to chew on that. I like to use this plumber's putty. I've been using it for years and years and I've never had mice chew through it. For some reason, they hate plumber's putty. And it never dries out either, so it's always pliable, you know, flexible or whatever you wanna call it. So if you ever have to change a part or take wires off, this is very easy to take off. So you take some of this putty. I got this at Ace Hardware for like three bucks or you can order it on Amazon. Take some of that putty. And if you have a gap here, just shove that in there and seal it up good. For me, this is already pretty sealed up. So I'm just gonna seal up this bottom hole and mice will not have any opportunities to get in here. Just like that. And like I said, I've been doing this a lot. This is almost like a, a part of a maintenance, you know? And I have never seen mice get through that. So there you have it, nice and sealed. And if you're gonna seal this one up, it'd be the same thing. You just go around it and just kind of work your way around, get that nice and sealed. So it looks something like that. Mice, no more. And that is all there is to it. Don't forget to put the door back on, turn the power back on, and you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to mash that like button on the way out and I'll see you next time. And if you're still here and not in the comment section below, I saw an interesting quote yesterday that I thought I would share with you. It went something like this. Do not believe every quote you see on the internet. Signed, Abraham Lincoln.